Hello and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jill O'Donnell and today I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely beautiful bendy fold card. It features the X-Cut Meadow Flowers die and one of the brand new Santoro Gorgeous range and this is called Bluebird Proposal. Now the card itself comes in three pieces. To make this, the first thing you need to do is take a piece of A5 card and trim it down to 14 centimetres wide. Once that's cut to 14, we're going to trim it again at 10 and a half and six. That's going to form three pieces of card, which are going to measure 10 and a half six and the remaining piece is four and a half. Now to form this card we need to make some incisions in the card and we need to make some tabs for the ends of the strips. All the instructions for doing this can be found below. The card itself here are the tabs and here is the card. So all I need to do now is apply some glue to the back of this tab and stick it to the base of the card. Glue I'm using here is my absolute favourite. This is called Sailor Two-Way Glue. If you use it when it's wet, it has a fantastic, really good bond. And if you let it dry, it becomes tacky, which makes it very, very easy to use. Now the tab I'm using here is the larger tab, and this is going to go from left to right. I do apologise for people that don't like their lefts and rights, but it's going from that way to that way. That's the larger tab going from left to right. And the smaller tab, I'm going to apply some glue to this as well, is going from right to left. And they're just going to sit flush to the bottom of the card. It's very important that they're not any higher than that. So the paper I'm using here, it's absolutely beautiful, this. It's Capsule Collection Paper Mania Pigment and the colours are beautiful. So once that's dried and secure, I can show you how the basis of the card is formed. So the larger tab goes into the back of the card and the smaller tab goes into the front of the card. So there we have the basis for the card. Now today I'm going to decorate this with some beautiful flowers and a fence. And although I'm not very good at DIY, I am going to show you how to make a fence. So to make this, I've cut myself some strips of white card, one centimetre wide. I need them to be about six and a half to, to end up with. So I've got these, cut them to about nine or ten. This is an X-cut corner punch, the small size. I'm just going to line that up in the middle, press down the button, and there we are. There's a beautiful fence top. I've used some strips of card which are just half a centimetre wide to make the parts going across the fence and then all I've done is just added a bit of glue to each of these, stuck these to the back, left a small gap between them and stuck that down. Doesn't that look fence-like? <laughs> so once you've got them all stuck on there you can then trim that to make it the length you'd like it to be. And then you can reinforce the back with some more of these tabs. So I'll just pop the top one on so you can see what I mean. Now you need this fence to fill both sides of the card. This size, the four prongs, will fit the size, the smaller part. And I've used eight on the other side, but depending on how big your gaps are between them, you might want to use a few more, you might want to use a few less. So all three of those will get stuck on there and then the fence can be trimmed down to fit. Now the flowers I've cut from the X-Cut Meadow Flowers set. This is an absolutely beautiful set. I've cut all of them that I want to use, first of all, in green. And then I've mixed and matched the colours round and cut those in various different colours. So what I'm going to do is take the top in purple, a few drops of my trusty Sailor two-way glue, go on the top of that, or you could actually put the glue 
onto the green part, whichever's easier. Might have been easier to put it onto the green part actually because there's something to actually hold on to. So let's give that a little bit of a dab there and then line that flower up. If you'd like to add some pens or some pencils to give some shading on this, then you can do so. And then we've got a pink one here, which we can pop the top on. This is uh, a nice easy one to do. They're such pretty flowers. The paper I'm using here is the Paper Mania Textured Cardstock. And this comes in a rainbow of colours, so you're never going to be short of a beautiful colour choice. So what I'm going to do now is stick these to the fence. So I've trimmed off the excess wood, leaving us a lovely little fence. And these flowers can be stuck on with a mixture of double-sided pads and glue. So the first one, I think we'll go for the beautiful lilac one on there. It's always a good idea when you're actually sticking something down, not to stick it down with your finger because I'm the world's worst at this. Once you stick something down with your finger, you then get glue all over your fingers and you can't do a single thing about it. So that <laughs> is getting stuck down with something pressing on top of it. Now this next one, there's a nice substantial part of the flower that I can hide a double-sided pad behind. So I'm going to put one double-sided pad on that one and I'm going to pop that on top. There's no need for these to fit. You don't have to have them completely glued down. That's the beauty of it. There were some lovely pieces of grass in here as well. So being a bit crafty here, literally, <laughs> um, being a bit crafty here, I'm just going to attach that up at the top there. As long as the glue is strong, you can get away with this. And then there's the beautiful bluebell coloured one. Some glue on the bottom of that as well. And that can go on the bottom, on there. And then the yellow one, I know I can get away with using a double-sided pad on this one where the hole is in the centre of the flower because I'm going to put a gem on top of it afterwards. Aren't gems just wonderful? You can just use them for so many things. And in this case, it's the saviour of the day because we're going to pop them on there. So there we go, that is one part of the fence. And of course on the card itself you can see we have the two sections of fence, the larger section and the smaller section. And you can make this to whatever size you like. So the next thing you can spot on there is I've stuck some clouds. These are some die cut clouds. I've edged around them in a bit of blue ink as well. So actually I've got a new favourite ink. If you haven't tried it already, the Artiste Aqua Metallic is the best colour ink you could ever try. You will absolutely love it. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've gone. That's the background of the card and the colour around the clouds. So put a couple of clouds on there. Might be slow. Another trip with the clouds. Sometimes people will put a cloud on a card and have the whole cloud on there and it, it just doesn't look right. What you can actually do is to cut them in half and then stick half on. So the cloud's half on the scene, half off the scene, and that does look quite nice doing that as well. So once the clouds are on there, to make this card really special, we've got this beautiful new X-cut butterfly embossing punch. And this will not only cut, but it embosses as well. So I've brought a collection of colours here, and I'm going to punch this. You can hear the double click. And that comes out beautifully. What I've done with this is I've done a double, double butterfly, two butterflies that is, and I've stuck them together, which is uh, a good way to do it. So again, you can use a double sided pad in here if you'd rather to raise it up a little bit, but as the glue is nice and handy, I've used that. Give that a bit of a bend in the middle, press that down. And then of course, as we mentioned earlier, no card is complete without gems. I'm going to add the gem to each of the butterflies. And to hide our double-sided pads to the flowers as well. So to assemble the card, we have the two tabs 
the larger one going from left to right, the smaller one going from right to left. They're popping into the incision in the card itself and this tab is popping into the incision in the larger tab. We've got clouds on the back. We've got our fence sitting beautifully there. More of a fence coming over here. And the piece de resistance, that's the sum total of my French, I don't know anymore, <laughs> is this beautiful stamp. And I've stamped this uh, gorgeous stamp, coloured it in and cut it out and popped her on the back part of the tab here. She's gone literally just gone there. And then once she is there, the card will do up. We'll pop the tab through there, pop the tab through the back, and there we go. Our Bluebird Proposal Bendy card. Thank you so much for joining me.